It's your boy DJ Baller, and he now tuned in to Do It But Don't. I said I brought the slammer with me cause the party on the third floor Smoking on some dead and sipping lean so I can swerve more Bitches on me, officers mad, she gripping on me Trying to dance with Sada, hold on shorty to Smith It's good me. do over don't Purple World episode 19 And today we're here with Mr. BJ Baller I've been yes, wanting sir, to do this for a yes, while sir, Yes sir What's going on what's yo? Up, what's up? What's been up with you? I've been chilling yo, laying low I haven't really been doing much um, But writing, trying to formulate different shit So I can Feed the streets, no bullshit. You've been building up a vault? Uh, You said what? Building up a vault? Yeah, I've been building up a crazy vault, no cap. Um, okay. Now it's time to like stack up on videos and like, yeah. you know, do different vlogs and stuff. Get my face out there more. You didn't drop a video for the C to B to. Nah, shit, not right? yet. No, I might. Get that in. I might. 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 Working on it, for sure. You gotta drop more videos, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Now it's like, yeah. a, now I might not drop unless I have a video. That's the type of shit that I'm on. So. I don't blame you. Yeah. I don't blame you. What, what you got, like, got coming, though? Because I'm waiting. I, like, recently, I was hip to you for a while, but I got seven, more hip to you. Seven track, like, seven track mixtape. Okay, good. Good. Four videos. Good. Okay. Out of the mixtape. All platforms. Good. Good. Yeah, I'm not giving you guys a name right now. None of that. Date? Just, date? Yeah, rough? Nah, rough date? Nothing. 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 Just stay patient. Okay. Stay tuned. I got you guys for sure. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You got me excited with that though, because yeah. I was gonna ask if you got a project, but you answered that pretty fucking quick. Yeah. <laughs> no bullshit. Get that out the way for me. It's it's long overdue. So. So how you go about picking music to drop? Because you be dropping like occasionally, and then you'll just do mad views, and then go into hiding. Drop again <laughs> Like What makes you decide Like yo It's time for me to drop music again No bullshit I just begin like Little nips on the butt Motivation No cap I don't know it's Something some, Sometimes something sparks in me Just Keeps me going You know what I mean There's times I want to give up Like every average person You know what I mean uh, that, Then I get that nip in the butt again And then You know Adds a few to the fire Keeps me going Yeah uh, You've been doing shit for a while Yeah Like what Like five Five years or probably I would say like around there a little bit more probably if I would say um I'm gonna continue to keep going too I ain't gonna stop it's only gonna keep getting better and better it's only up from here you feel me so yeah. all I gotta do is just stay focused figure it out I can't wait yo I'm waiting for some more drops on all platforms all yes I got sir. is like cocoon yes the sir. the, the yes loyal sir. song yeah, all my shit's on SoundCloud because you know I wasn't really in tune with all of yeah. the the platforms and shit like that you know so it's like now that I'm actually like paying attention to shit and actually taking shit serious and understanding the ropes to certain shit, it's like it's getting better and better, you know? I'm There's gonna be a lot excited. more everywhere for people to grab, you know. I'm definitely excited, yo. Yes, sir. How often you be in um the studio? Um, a lot like now a lot often. A lot, a lot more often. Before it wasn't that often, I'm gonna keep it a buck, you know, cause real life just dealing with shit. Bills, all this extra shit, trying to pay for certain shit, and um, uh, yeah, just trying to focus up. But now it's a, it's been a lot more frequent. I've been in the studio a lot more frequent because it's, I've been staying a lot more focused on my craft, trying to take that more serious. You know what I mean? What do you feel like made you want to get to that point where you're more focused on the music? I want to be my own boss. I want to be an entrepreneur. You Fire. know what I mean? I want to do something that I love. I want to wake up and do something that I love to do instead of waking up doing a ninety five or doing all of that shit. You feel right. me? That. I wake up and I'm not happy doing, you know what I mean? It's not that I, I don't like working or nothing like that, but I want to be my own boss. I want to work for myself. You That's fine. Uh -huh. I love hearing that from people, bro. Yeah. I love hearing that from people. There's honestly nothing I love hearing. Like, it's cool to be an artist and all this shit. extra shit, but to be your own boss is a whole nother level. You know what I mean? Whole nother level. Whole nother level. Yeah. What um got you in the music in the first place, though? Talking about what you love. My dad, my, my environment. People around me, shit like that. Everything, to be honest, I, th I feel like it was just destined for me. No cap, I was always around it. My father rap before he passed away. Um, Damn. Niggas from around the way rap, T. Drape, everybody, people that come from around my life. All my friends have something to do with music. You feel me? I'm around people who do graffiti. I'm around people who do art. Yeah. Different shit like that. You know what I mean? Um, skaters. They listen to shit like that, you feel me? They listen to different shit too. Like I didn't rock, even know you were tapped on with skaters. Yeah, I'm tapped into a lot of shit that a lot of people don't be knowing about. Uh, I be doing on a daily basis, you know. That's what great. Mean? You yeah. skate yourself? 
Uh, not skateboard, but inline, aggressive inline. Okay. A lot of people don't know that either. But what the fuck, yeah. That's that's <laughs> a secret I could throw out there. I, I'm into all that skating shit. Damn. But I don't do it on a daily basis. Like that's not my full fledged hobby. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'll do it here and here and there. They put on a dabble. However you say, it, you know. Yeah. I got my skates in the room, just <laughs> chilling. <laughs> <laughs> um, where'd you grow up though? You grew up in Dorchester. 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 Um, yeah, I got, I, I got like half of my life in Roxbury, you could say. Um, oh, I spent some time in New York a little bit, but it wasn't as enough uh, enough to say like I'm from New York. Uh, I used to say it here and there, like growing up as a kid, like, yeah, I spent some time in New York. But I'm from Boston. I'm from Dorchester. I'm a Dorchester-based artist. Um, but I rep the bean everywhere I go. Like, I don't never necessarily be like, oh, I'm from Dorchester, oh, I'm from Roxbury. I'll be like, oh, I'm from Boston. Yeah. Like, Where? I'll be like, Dorchester to be exact. But I rep the, like, whenever I'm on stage behind the mic, Dorchester. I'm from Dorchester to be exact. But today I'm repping the whole Boston. I always let that be known. Like, you give it Yeah. So, you know, that's what we need. What are your thoughts on, like, outside of the music, just Boston as a whole? What was it like growing up around here? It's ups and downs. It's cool and it's not cool. And just like everywhere else. Okay. Right. It's the best best way I could put it. Take some losses, you get some wins. That's just all it is. Uh uh-uh. hmm. So when did you like very first get in the studio? What's like the moment if you remember? First time I got in the studio, yeah. um, Took myself to the studio, to be honest. Um, it wasn't even a real studio. Damn. It was some dude I was fucking with around the time named Saeed. He lived in the projects, and um, he had a nice little recording studio in his room. Set up his dresser, you feel me, and a nice big screen on his laptop, all this extra shit. So um, when I used to kick it up with him and his peoples. Um, pulled up to his crib. I used to just kick it over there with him. He used to record different niggas from the neighborhood and shit like that. And um, I was just like, fuck it. I must have jumped on the track. I recorded, I think, What Made Me, Back On Tour. I think Back On Tour. What I thought made Back me. On Tour was the first song. Yeah. It I was recorded the first song? Those okay, there. Okay. So Back On Tour, What Made Me, I think, like, Blow. Uh, nah, I recorded Blow 3 at Kai Bills' crib. But the first first time it was at Saeed's crib, um... Back on tour and um, what made me. First person I ever showed music to was my mother. My mother picked mm. me up from Saeed's crib and I jumped in the car. Like, I just made a song. She was like, for real? I'm like, yeah, I just left the studio. That's where I was at. I was like, you want to hear it? And I played it. And my mom listened to it. She like, oh, you actually nice. And then, like, she's the one who told me, like, no Take funny it. shit. I think you could do this. And I was like, all right. And then I, soon I started Music, you know, cat. My mom's been my biggest fan from day one. That's crazy, yo. Because I feel like normally parents are against the music shit, and you gotta convince but my them. My mom know where, I, where we come from. Like, it ain't nothing hard. I be talking about the shit that I be going through in my music, you know, in my life, in my music. Yeah. It's like, you know, like I don't know how to explain it. That's fine. My mom though, that always told me, it. whatever you wanna do. Do it, and I'm going to be behind your side. Like, if you want to be the president, I'm going to believe that you're going to be the president, and I'm going to be there with you. If you want to be the best bank robber that there is, then nigga, be the best bank robber there is. I'm still going to be by your side, right or wrong. She always told me that since a kid, since I was young, 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 since a kid, kid. So it's like, that's always been instilled in me. Like, she, she ride or die with me. Damn. Okay. That's it fine. Is my mom. Yeah, no, nah, that's dope. She be though. on that with me. She. That's dope yeah. though. Shout out to your mom, yo, because yeah, most people, sure. most people I know, their mom is not supportive of their music uh, career slash my mom hobby. Plays at first. my music out. That's like, gas. Half, half of my views probably come from my mom, Dukes. That's gas. That's that real love. That's Word. that real love, yo. Um, speaking of that freestyle though, what was it like dropping your first song? Getting feedback on that. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing, why I was doing it, nothing. I just dropped the song, and people were fucking with it. No cap. Everybody was hitting me up like, yo, I heard that shit. I heard that shit, and I couldn't believe it. I'm like, damn, people were actually listening to me. Like, it kind of, like, moved me in a certain type of way. That's what kind of, like I said, kept 
kept adding the fuel to the fire. It's like, damn, niggas is listening. Like, uh, now I'm not just no regular nigga talking. Like, you know, people is actually listening to this shit that I'm saying, and they say they fucking with it. I had older niggas coming up to me, old heads fucking with me. That's Young crazy. niggas fucking with me. It's like, that's hard. Everyone was that's fucking hard with in it. the city, you feel me, to get all of that. From the old heads to the young heads to fuck with you, and then on top of that, you got the females fucking with you. It's like... Nah, I gotta do this. I gotta Who's take, not fucking with you? Yeah, I gotta take this serious point, now. I no gotta bullshit. take this serious. I gotta start doing doing more music. Even though I wasn't taking it as serious as I should have been, I was still taking it serious. Some type yeah. of serious because that's why I was doing it. You get what I'm trying to say? I wasn't doing this shit for all fun. You get what I'm trying to say? That what Half of it was for fun because I wasn't taking it serious as much, but... I was doing it because it was like, it was giving me that feeling. Like, yo, I can actually do this shit. My mom said I could actually do it because she believed in it. And other people around the neighborhood, everybody I grew up, grew up with, even people that watched me grow up, it's like, yo, you nice, you got it. It's like, damn, I got to do this shit. Yeah. You feel me? It's like, why not? <laughs> yeah. Hey, you got to keep rolling with it if you're getting feedback like that, yo. I'm in it. I'm blessed to still keep getting that feedback. Yeah. Because, like... Especially being in it for, yeah, like, five like, years, yo. Yeah, it's like... The light could go out like that, especially in Boston. People That's could start fucking with you tomorrow. So the fact that some people really actually still fuck with me and be on my side with this fan base shit, love, love listening to my music, actually listen to my music, and you know what I mean, do they thing with my shit, it's like, I really support that shit, I really love that shit, like, that shit touches me on a different level, I can't even really, like, explain it. You be getting a lot of love from, like, local people, yo, because I feel like you, honestly, more than any other artist that I know, you and this other kid I know from Canton, um, like, I be seeing it on random people that I know stories, like, and I feel like a lot of the times, like, for the most part, the bigger artists that I know from around here, I only see, like, two or three people that I know know them, but I feel yeah. like a lot of people I try know to who you are. Tap, touch base with different people. That's uh-huh. why, I like, I've, I don't really make music for one set of people. I make make it for everybody. everybody. Like, you know what I mean? Even my enemies can listen to my shit if they fuck with it. I don't give a uh-huh. fuck. You know what I'm trying to say? It's for everybody's, it's for all ears. Not excluding so it's anybody. Like, if you find my music sometimes on random people shit, it's just because, like, uh, I don't know. I, don't know. I really don't know to be honest. I just appreciate that shit. Uh, like, damn, you listen. I never thought that you would listen to it, but it, it makes me want to keep going and make different music. So now, I shouldn't make some hood shit. Let me try to make some other shit. That's what that's the that's what be fun with it too. Pl- just playing with shit like that. Like, let me try this. Let me try that. You let be try versatile as fuck, yo. Yeah, and all of that's just me trying shit. Just me just playing with it. Like yo, let me try this. I want to sing this day. Is that how you got to like, be so versatile? Just messing around with just, different sounds, I trying. Different I like listening to different music. I like listening to old music. I like listening yeah. to new music. So it's like, if I listen to something, I can make something like that. I know I can. I got it in me. Yeah. So it's like, I try. You get what I'm trying to say? And sometimes it comes out fire. I lay it on wax, it comes out hard. I never thought I could really melodize. I still can't. I got like a weird, raspy voice. You know what I mean? So it's like, I can't melodize as, as well as other people can, but I still do it because like, it comes out dope. Yeah, you get what I'm trying to say. You you know, your own I don't way. have a, I don't have a bad voice. It's not bad, bad. So I could manage it as long as I stay focused and like yeah. actually push it. You know what I mean? So I feel like that's one thing that you definitely have going for you as an artist is just like a good natural voice. Like Sully, the producer in there that yeah. is going to engineer you later. He's making beats for you right now. Yeah. And literally earlier, he was like, "Yo, he just has a good voice." Like I appreciate that. No bullshit, you know. But um. Yeah, I just be trying different shit. It's not, it's not, it's not a crime to try different shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Gotta. Um, what was the other question I was about to ask you? I was gonna say, what were some of your musical inspirations? Because you got that New York element to you a little, like I was talking to you about before, '90s New York influence a little bit. But what were some of your major like artist influences when you first started? I had to first my dad off off the top, just because I used to just watch him do his thing. I used to sit and watch him write. I used to sit and watch him do different sets, try to formulate shit, listen to beats that people were sending him, and shit like that. But to be honest, it's, most of my inf- it, inspiration doesn't all, all come from New York. Like Nas is cool, Davies, people like that, the newer generation is cool, Wu-Tang, Tribe Called Quest, all of them, they cool, but like, 
I definitely mess with all types of music. Like, my inspiration comes from everywhere, to be honest, bro. Like, the type of genres of music that I bump is, like, crazy shit, bro. Like, I might bump R&B all day one day and, yeah. like, bump some other shit the all day the next day. You hear what I'm trying to say? I dibble and dabble. I might bump a drill song and then after bump some shit that got Beyonce on it after. You know what yeah. I'm trying to say? It's just different shit. I really love music and different sounds. You get what I'm trying to say? Art. Yeah, so it's like... Most of that shit just comes from listening to different shit, bro. And like liking different music, bro. Old and new. So, yeah. yeah. It's crazy how you be listening to, like, you were telling me before, 50s music, yo. Yeah, 50s, yeah. 60s, 70s, 80s. Shit like that. I listen to gangster rap. I just listen to regular rap or whatever you want to call this shit. I listen to it. You feel me? Yeah. Um, instrumental music. Kenny G. You listen to instrumental music? Yeah, like yeah. I listen to a lot of that shit. I listen to shit, a lot of shit. Doing um, shit Nina about. Simone. That's all old shit though. Like when you listen to shit like that, smoking, like I don't know, opens my mind, calms me down, it takes me to another place, especially with all the shit that they're going on, you know. So that helps me a lot with my music. You know, I could, I could. Try this shit, you know what I mean. I should, I should throw a little bit of this in here, a little bit of inspiration. Need to from get influence from other things. You get what I'm trying to say, yeah. shit like that. Movies too, I like movies. Movies, I feel like, are so crucial yeah. to artists to develop their understanding. Like you got to live life. Might have been on Nipsey's. I forget who's. I was talking to somebody about you. Just need to live life, like as an artist. Whether yeah. it's watching movies, reading books, listening yeah. to other music. Some people get their inspiration different, though. Some people got to be out doing shit in order to get inspiration. Like, yeah. I know a nigga who got to fly out just to be in Miami or L.A. just to see different shit. Yeah. That way he can write about it. That way he's getting inspiration from what's around him. That makes you know what I'm trying to yeah. say? But me, I can I can get inspiration from any anything as long as, like, I don't know, like, as long as it moves me in some type of way. Yeah. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, Hits the right bone. Yeah. It's the right bone, I guess. Um, talking about inspiration, I know you told me about how wrestling influenced Brick Flair, but how'd you get the name BJ Baller? How'd that come about? No oh, funny shit, I just came up with it. BJ really? Baller. I never played basketball a day in my life. Never played no Damn. sports, none of that. <laughs> I was just like, BJ Baller, it sound cool. It sound like a... Dope name. Yeah, my cousin gave me it at first, like just playing around. We came up with it, me and him. But at first, the way I used to spell it, um, that was on some New York shit, and I, I found out what that shit actually means. How did you spell it? Uh, B-A-L-L-A. Right. That's how niggas in New York spell it. My cousin from New York, me and that nigga, we used to play around, and he used to say that shit to me, like, BJ Ball, and this, and the third. I guess it was. I guess the neighborhood he lived in around the time, I guess the, they used to say shit like that. So me being from Boston, not knowing none of that shit, I'm thinking it's ill. So after a while, I found out what it means and shit, some some whole other shit, I guess. Damn. Yeah, so it's like, I still wanted to keep my name, BJ Baller. You get what I'm trying to say? Because yeah. at the end of the day, it sound ill. It's like, it's just, so I just changed it due to other reasons, and I wanted to... I wanted it to be like more of a like a name like BJ Baller. You get what I'm trying to say? It's like a household name kind of. Yeah. And like at first, I I kind of cut the the baller out because I wanted to represent my dad more. Just BJ like Benny Junior because that's where that came from. Oh, Benny okay. Junior. You feel me? I never got named after my pops, so I I named myself that for my pops, especially if I was gonna be rapping. So yeah. Benny Junior. You feel me? Blaze Junior. And I added the baller, so it's. It's kind of just, I don't know, it kind of fit after a while. Yeah. But yeah, it started off with me and my cousin just joking around. Hmm. And after I found out what the meaning means, you know what I mean? And then I switched it up to my liking and to like a liking where it would be like, feel me, official, like a household name. Now when you see BJ Baller, it fits. Like, yeah. I, it actually means baller. And for people who want to pronounce it that way, because there was people who was pronouncing it that way too, like baller, even though it's spelled that way. So it's like, I might as well. And it'll look good too, like on yeah, the just doing yeah. BJ ball. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Damn. Um, but you made your debut music video appearances with Kamaya Films, that yeah. Brick Flair video, and then I forget so, what the other one was. Shout it was, out to uh, Kamaya Films. He definitely helped me out when I first started like doing music shit. He was shooting my first videos and shit like that. You know, that's good. So 
What was it like shooting your first video? Was a lot of nerves, or was it just like natural being in front of the it was camera? Lucky natural, because I used to do all that shit with Mofi back in the day, Star King and Mofi, and yeah, a lot of people know about that too. Shout hmm. out to them. Why does that name sound familiar, Mofi? Yeah, it's real familiar. Trust me, it's more familiar than you think. That name sounds mad familiar yeah, for some reason. It's more familiar than you think. You gotta search that up. What okay. the hell? You're gonna have to show me whatever search this that is up. afterwards. Search up Star Gang. Uh, you gotta show me this after this interview because yeah, that shit sounds mad familiar for some reason. That's like beginning of the ropes right there. Like I learned a lot from that nigga. No cap, he taught me how to write music. Is he one of like the OG artists from around yeah. here? That's why I know his name. He though. he taught me how to write music like on paper, like bar structure, huh. all of that shit. If it wasn't for Damn. him, I wouldn't be rapping like how I do. Damn, but no cap. I don't know Whoa. that. So obviously because of me, but you get what I'm trying to say. Like he put me on to rap more than anybody else. Yeah. I was always around it. Like I said, I was kind of like brought up around that shit. But he was a he mentor. He definitely showed me how to like, yo, this is how you write a bar. This is what a bar is. This is shot taught taught me repetition, how to practice shit in front of a mirror. That way, when I get in front of a mic, I could have it appear instead of having to pull out my phone. Different shit like that. All of that shit helped me out in the long run. Hmm. How important do you think it was like having a mentor that early on? I wasn't looking at it at that time like as a mentor Mentor. because he was like my older cousin. But looking at it in retrospect, it's like like, looking at it from a retrospect, and that shit helped me out a lot. That's why I feel like I'm so fierce with this rap shit now because it's like I had that. You know what I'm trying to say? A lot of people didn't have that. They just started writing music. They liked it. I was brought up around that shit. Some yeah, I was going to say. actually took the time to be like, yo, this is how this is done. I was like, all right, word. That's ill. And I added my own shit to it. And then as I got older, started getting nice with it. And it's like, that's just how it is. Yeah. I was going to say, you sound like you were just naturally, like, just born in the music. And it's like, okay, this is your yeah, life or at least like, going to be part of your life. If you're born in the streets, you're naturally born in the music because of that's how where that shit started. You get what I'm trying to uh, say? Hip hop, I'm around hip hop move around I was born in the hood I'm from the hood you hear what yeah. I say it's like my surroundings is hip hop <laughs> legit yeah like, no I know yeah legit what people talk about in hip hop is the surroundings that we live in and so it's like you get caught up into all that shit you get caught up into music the same way you get caught up into gang banging it's hand in hand legit it's just what you're around to yeah shit. like it's hand in hand Damn. You're going to do something. You're going to gangbang. You're going to play basketball, play football, or rap. Or do something. Yeah. There's people who do all three. There's people, people who only do. You hear what I'm trying to say? So it's like, I don't know. It was a given, kind of. Yeah. Also, though, it sounds like it's just in your family to an extent. No yeah, bullshit. Like my family love music. My moms, yeah. my pops, they all music based. So That's definitely dope to have yeah. people that. Love that because I'm not gonna be a lot more music supported. Or nothing, but she used to break dance back in the day. She really? Used to be a B, B girl. That's so crazy. It's like, yeah, she's from that era. Huh. Getting fly, break dancing in the club and shit. What the fuck? Yeah. Bro? So God it's damn. Like, yeah. God damn. They come from that shit, that boombox. I wonder if break dancing will ever make a comeback. No bullshit. Nah, that shit. That's just still popping to today. It's just bigger in different, different countries, it's like, like TikTok Korea, now. all the extra shit. And there's like, a lot of there's yeah. a lot of places that still act break dance. The UK. I didn't even know that. It's competitions like um, the year of battle of the year. I don't even. I never heard of it. There's a movie based off that shit too with Chris oh. Brown. I never like heard the of battle that. of the year is like this big ass Red Bull competition. People be break dancing. That's just fire. I've it's never a heard of that. competition. Yeah. I be see, I be in tune with a lot of shit. I be huh. watching yeah. a lot of shit. You seem like you're aware of a lot of things. Yes, definitely. I am. Trust me. You seem like, like you're I analyze a lot. Talking about being aware of a lot of things. You told me off camera you were in the like graffiti art and stuff. Like, what other hobbies did you have besides music growing up and even now? Just art. Um, I was always in the drawing and shit, um, painting. Um, music was always my thing. Um. Um, riding bikes Regular kid shit I always used to do all that Willy bikes Nasty with the willy and Shit like that If you know me But um, Yeah pretty much just art Fashion Music Shit like that I always love getting fly I always like painting shit Writing on shit And I always like rapping Okay Talking about fashion If you had to pick One outfit 
to wear that just resembles BJ Black Baller. Black dicky suit all the time. Black dicky suit? And this. What about for shoes? Move closer to the mic, too. For shoes, I don't know. It got to be Timberlands, Black Timberlands. Probably. Timberlands? Yeah, or like, I don't know. I thought I you were getting fly, but I thought what you to describe me, Black dicky suit and Black sneakers. Or black Timberlands. Okay. All black. Okay. Yes, sir. How much um do you feel like your love of music and fashion have like crossed over sort of? It's like, hand in hand. Hand in hand. It, I was gonna it say gotta be go. hand in hand because you shooting vi- visuals, doing different shit like that. You want to look good, you know. I was gonna say. I was yeah. telling There's him some early. people who don't shoot music videos because they don't got haircuts. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. Uh. <laughs> Well, I was telling him earlier, I remember when I first saw your account, I thought you were a fashion dude. I didn't even know you were an artist. Yeah, I mean, into all that shit. Uh, people look at me like everything. No cap, but <laughs> you got to know me to know what's up, you know what's uh, up. Well, people definitely knew what's up when you dropped your first EP in 98. Yeah. Well, what was that like, putting together your first project? I did See, that by myself. No management, no nothing? No nothing. I just put all those tracks together. I felt like those were tracks that I wanted to drop together. Um my homegirl Alondra, she helped me out a lot with that with the cover art. She did the cover art for me. That's fine. And just like like yeah, like basically giving me tips like, yeah, you should put these songs on there and shit like that. And pretty much it was just that. It was just, you know, putting it together. Putting it together. Like it was, that was some shit I put together and people actually act fucked with it. You know what I mean? Like but it was just I was put together on some quick shit, to be honest. What was the feedback like? Oh, that? to be mm-hmm. honest, like True. I did have something behind it as well. Like I wanted to show my versatility with that tape. That's why it's four. It's a four track EP, but each I thought four, there was five. It's I think it's a four track okay. EP, if I'm okay. not mistaken. And each so track, much. each track is a different track from one another. Like you know what I'm trying what to say. What was the one with the? Was it a female sample or yeah, a singer on it? Like, that one was my favorite. Slash. Is I, that what it was called? Um, or am I bugging? Might have been Slash. Oh, I'm not sure. I think Vibes. Uh, there's a couple on there. Vibes was a oh, different scratch, one. Oh, Scratch. Scratch, Scratch. That was my that's favorite a, song. That's a, um, the game beat. You know, the game from LA. Yeah, yeah. That's his beat. Oh, okay. I did that beat because a couple, a couple of my OGs from around my way used to bump that song when I was young. <laughs> I always used to bang that shit. So I remember that beat. I'm like, yeah, that I need to do fine. something like that. That shit was okay. fine. Uh, but was it, what was it like, like dropping a full body of work? And seeing results with that, like, I was very like? proud of myself. You were? Yeah, it made me very proud. Um, and it made me want to keep going more. Like, damn, I could, I could do shit like this. I could, I could do mixtapes. I could do albums. Like, you know what I mean? I just really gotta stay focused, bro. It just made me want to keep doing more. No cap. The feedback I was getting on it was crazy too. It was definitely some songs that people liked more, um, more than other ones. Place. It was all love, regardless. You know, I didn't really get no bad feedback on my song, nah. on any song. So I was gonna say it's put together pretty well for like a first project. I feel yeah, like and f- for some collage type shit, because I was like a collage. I just threw <laughs> shit together. To it be was honest. just throw yeah, away. Yeah, not like throw I thought about a concept like yo, I'm about to do a four track EP with four different sounds on it, just to let niggas know how I'm coming. Like I could do different types of music, and that's what I did. I yeah. added a song for the females there. Like a Detroit turn up type song, yeah. I added like a little party song in there, and then I added like some melodic shit too. Yeah, some, some yeah, I just started throwing yeah, it's just throwing different little pieces and patching shit in there, you know. What was the next? I had something in mind a second ago. Oh, how do you? How would you describe your sound? Oh, um, right. I'm just versatile to be honest. I was gonna I say different, different shit. I can't really describe my sound because I just. I do different shit, bro. I like to have fun with the music. Better question then. What do you want people to take away from your music? And like, why do you make music? What do you want to inspire people with? Them hearing your shit. Yeah, I don't, like, I'm not even sure. You don't know? To be honest, yeah, because like, I don't know. I kind of like be wanting to let people know that like, Everybody goes Everybody goes through What you're going through There's people out here Who understand What you're going through That's why I be Kind of playing my own story Into my music As much as I do Cause it's like I know that there's people Out here who could relate to that And I, I be wanting people To 
that feel alone to understand that they're not alone in certain situations because people go through that and it's always going to be all right you feel me it's always going to be somebody who can get past the situation so like i don't know i would say that other than that it's like i don't know i just really try to relate to people i just try to be as relatable as i can i don't know how to explain it like i want you to listen to my song and be like damn this thing is talking about me like yeah you know what i'm trying to say but i don't really have like a message to be honest, as far as right now, so more than anything, you'd say you're just here to relate to people right now. Yeah, there's no like, like you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. I'm more so trying to relate and let niggas know, like, you get what I'm trying to say. I yeah. either know where you're coming from because we come from the same shit. This is your type of music. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Listen to the song, like, damn, this is talking about me. I had people talk tell me that. Um, they listen to that song, Perks, all the time. That shit makes them feel a certain type of way. Like, it be making them, like... And it's because they can relate to it so much. And to be honest, I never got addicted to perks. I just said it in the song. Got addicted to perks. Thought they would help stop the pain. Never and thought I'd see that in the earth. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Just because I'm around so many people who's addicted to perks. It's funny. We, neither of us do perks, and we were just listening to that song on the way here. And it's like, for the niggas who do understand that pain, it's like, damn... You get what I'm trying to say? Niggas know why niggas do perks. Some niggas are judging niggas, but you can't really judge niggas. Niggas really be going through shit. People be going through shit. Stone Cold Street shit. shit. You get what I'm trying to say? It's Uh, like, these niggas out here with no hope, bro. No fame, no nothing. Stone Cold. You get what I'm trying to say? So it's like, that song kind of touched niggas differently because it's like, damn, like, they feel it. It's like, that's they song, like I said. That's what I try to do. That's my message to the music. Like, this is your song, my nigga. You get what I'm trying to say? It's like, I don't know how to explain. I don't. No, that's it. I feel like you gave a good enough message. You might think you yeah, didn't, yeah. but I feel like you gave a pretty good grasp. You just no, want people like, to relate to shit. Don't even though I'll be mentioning shit like my dad and like my people's people can relate to that shit, shit. You yeah. can still relate to it because it's about you too. You Literally. get what I'm trying to say? Literally. Just because I never thought I'd see my dad in the hers doesn't mean like you never felt like that about your friend. Yeah. You or your family, you exactly. Family. It's like yeah. shit like that you could relate to. I uh, know, definitely. Yeah, it I goes like a long way, longevity shit. You do a good job of like. Obviously, we talked about being versatile, but I feel like your music in general, like obviously, you got some shit that's like for the hood, but yeah. you got like pretty good job staying versatile. Where it's like like cocoon, for instance. I feel like anyone could just listen to that for the shit hood, for sure. Cause yeah. like, that's me. Start making more shit for the I hood. like that hard shit. I'm trying to, so I've been writing, I've been doing all that extra shit. So I'm definitely about to have some hood bangers hit the streets. Need um that grrr part two. Yeah, Dude, shit like that, yeah. shit like that. But I'm gonna stay more versatile too. You feel me? I'm gonna still have fun with the shit and still do other shit. Cause just cause one nigga might not like something, or a couple niggas might not like something, doesn't mean everybody else yeah. might not like. It. And it's like, like I said, I don't. You want to make music. BJ music? Make, yeah, it's like I don't make music for one set of niggas. I make music for everybody. So just. You might not fuck with this track Cause I It's tracks like that too Like there's a female song That I got That niggas might not fuck with But in reality It's not for niggas It's for females So, so that's why you're gonna drop yeah, it Yeah that's why you're not gonna fuck with it Not it's okay song is for wait, everybody Wait a week or so I'll probably drop some shit for you bro yeah. For me Like That you could bump to That's the type of shit I try to be on so. yeah. Talk about that gl- Or whatever <laughs> However you pronounce that what was that video like with Nipsey? I heard Nipsey film that the day he got out. That shit yeah. looked crazy. So the yo. song we filmed, we, sh- we we recorded the song before he went in. He turned himself in, and then the day he came home, we shot the video. But yeah, I fuck with Nipsey. He's a Cambridge artist. He does his thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. And um, me and him just tapped in with each other on that music shit heavy because, like, you know, we know what we could do with the city. Like, we know we could. That was it. It's hard in our city to be doing shit like that because people take it and look at it on some street shit. But in reality, it's strictly music shit. Like, we know what certain people in our city could do if people work still, together. Like, yeah, yeah, work together. You get what I'm trying to say? So me and him kind of got that understanding. You get what I'm trying yeah. to say? He's a beast at what he do. The same way everybody's a beast at what they do too. You feel me? More people had that understanding. I felt like a lot of sh- a lot of doors were open, but we recorded that like when he um, when he came home, 
and it was up like it went crazy we didn't yeah, even think it was going crazy. crazy mind you it was it was already go it was already going crazy on soundcloud and places like that people were leaking it on youtube trying to make their own copies god damn posted on youtube doing crazy shit like that yeah so i knew it was gonna make a like a, a wave in the streets but i didn't think it was gonna make a wave like the way it did yeah and no funny shit like i was i was proud of that too because it's like that showed me and him like yo we could actually really take this shit serious but yeah. there's people who going crazy over this song and this is just a nigga from dorchester and a nigga from cambridge literally bro. you get what i'm trying yeah. to say bro? and that shit went so crazy that shit, that shit touched places I didn't think it was gonna touch either. So yeah. it's like that's something to be proud of. You get what I'm trying to say? That video was definitely dope as shit. Yeah, that, that was, was put together shit. too. That was really put together. Like, see how he's getting his hair braided in the video. And all. Yeah. That's, that's all shit. Like, yo, you should do it. Like, just do it. All right, yeah, fuck yeah. it. I'm gonna do it. Like, it was it just put out. together shit. I feel like shit like that sometimes be make shit better. Yeah. You get what I'm trying to say Because it's natural Instead of trying to stage something Instead like, of like forcing everything yeah, Just being yeah. at the moment Like yeah, oh pick this up I feel like that's what makes certain shit yeah. Yeah. That's gas though That's yeah. gas I feel like talking about working with Other um, people Oh shit Yeah my fault you Another good? thing too Like Millie's looked out for us too Like he He kind of like Put that together Because I didn't really like I didn't even know Millie's had anything to do with nah, that Nah he don't But like it's He does I don't know how to explain it. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, I, I give credit when it's due, but yeah. like, he definitely, like, was on some shit with me and, and Nipsey. Like, he put that together in some type of way, and he was on some, like, you two niggas right here at nice. Like, he was definitely, like... Make some shit together. Nah, he's seen the potential, too, like, what me and Nipsey could do, like, with, the, with, that, with that type of song. Because he was there when it was being made. Damn. Yeah, he was in the studio. That's so, crazy. Yeah, so That's it's crazy. like... That was Nipsey's first day. Um, first day about to go back to jail. You feel me? They, you know, Nipsey, Millie's, all of them. They from Cambridge. You know, yeah. Millie's was there, I guess, supporting Nipsey, yeah. doing whatever he do. You know, and That's he was guys. there when we made that. That's crazy. Yeah, he was saying it in the studio. He posted me on his gram. For me, gave me a little buzz or whatever. And was telling me like, "Yo, this nigga's hard." You feel me? Land niggas know like, "Yo, this nigga's hard." These two niggas is hard. So it's like that kind of like. Made the anticipation of the song kind of like, like, boost more. like I didn't even know that yeah, people who That's didn't crazy. people who didn't know me or know Nipsey like that around the time was kind of waiting for that song too because they're like oh that shit sounds crazy That's crazy yeah. yeah and I noticed that due to Instagram because like around that time like when he did that I started f um have people follow me from Nipsey's account and his account. Cause of that shit That's too. crazy yeah. So it's like It was kind of like A great look on me And Nipsey's um, Shit too I'm not gonna lie Like I wouldn't lie About that Damn. A lot of people was just Like waiting for that song Everybody He was fortunate to be, Like niggas was fortunate To be in the studio With him And for him to hear That song too So he heard it before Everybody else heard it And he was telling us Like yeah this shit's gonna Blow the roof through, Off the city type shit so yeah. That's what He let me know Damn that's definitely a good cosign to have dropping a song like that. Yeah, he's definitely, he's definitely a cool person. Be doing his thing. I gotta get him in this room, yo. I'm trying. To, yeah. Like, definitely sounds dope. He's showing love to everybody in the city. That's what I, I fuck with. I be trying to be on the same type of time. I like sharing nigga shit. I like sharing different people's stuff and trying to tap in with niggas and show them yeah. like, yo, I fuck with your shit. Cause like, a lot of people don't like to do that. City's not the city's not really big on love. You feel me? But just because the city's not big on love doesn't mean I can't be. You feel me? I'm my own person. So I was gonna say, oh, you tapped in with like everyone. Like last yeah, night when I, I was looking to, you I up. try to tap in with everybody. Like I try to for the most part, but I try to show niggas like, yeah, I'm listening. I'm fucking with you. Yeah. That's all I used to bump before was just local artists. You feel me? That's why right. I know niggas out here. I actually yeah. know people, so it's like. Tapping with they shit while listening to Lil Baby or all these other yeah, niggas. Yeah, I'm listening, listening to the shit that's going on in my city, the shit that nah, I actually nah, know nah. about. You get what I'm trying to say? Because if Boston music is hot, bro, you got to listen to the yeah. shit that niggas be dropping, bro. Especially when it's diss tracks and all this extra shit. You got to be tapped into all of that that's shit. That shit's hard, yeah. bro. Like, yeah. a lot of people now finding out about Boston, figuring out that there's even fucking colored people in Boston. Like, that's crazy to, for me to even hear people say, yeah. like, yo, there's black people in Boston, there's Spanish people in Boston. Like, like what bro, the fuck? So much y'all niggas need to learn about. 
bro. Cause yeah. the artists that that we got out here is crazy, bro. Like, yeah. From everywhere, we we got some heavy hitters. Though, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I be trying to tap in. You be in like the circle with all the heavy hitters, bro. When I was looking through everyone, you were popping up with like every fucking. Yeah, niggas be putting me person. in a category. But I don't like when niggas put me in no category. I just be doing my thing. You just BJ. Yeah. I feel like that's one thing that you like. Do a good job of because it's like I consider you in the same category yeah, as like those main that, names. Boston, who's better? Who's the king? All that shit. I'm not winning none of that shit. Don't, shit. don't call those me those the king things. of Boston. Don't call me the king of none of that. I be doing my thing. That's it. Like I don't want to be labeled none of that. Who you got? Who's better? You know that those posts. Yeah. Shit, like the New England or. All that shit's a dub. Like, keep me out of that shit. I don't want to do none of that shit. That's why I don't even post nothing like that on our fucking page, bro. Yeah, like, like look, you be hating when people be doing that shit. Um, Everybody want to be the goal of the city, do shit like that. I'm not. I'm not really trying to do all that. Well, one thing that I've definitely noticed about you through this interview that I fucking love is you're one of the people that just thinks like, bro, just work together and us coming together yeah, is just you, fucking. You know, it's, yeah. it's never gonna be that easy. It's never bro. gonna be, but it seems like that's your mindset for the most part because yeah, you just, just do. Like, I love music, bro. That's I love thing. music. This That's shit's a really a craft. This shit's like something different. Right, you know, what I mean? niggas be trying to add extra shit to poison the craft. It's like, it's like if everyone was just making music, it would be so much better. Yeah, like everybody got enemies. Everybody got sh- shit like that that they gotta worry about. No, but all that extra shit. If you're gonna do that, and this is gonna be a craft, and this is something you focus on, and be focused on that, bro. You gotta understand, like. Gotta put certain shit aside if that's what you want to do. You know, Literally, like, especially with the music shit. Can't be into all the like. I don't know how it's hard to explain. Yeah, no cap. You're limited, That's very right. limited. So it's like, yeah. That's a fact. What are your thoughts on like the mass music scene overall? Like, it's where do you hard. Think? It's hard. It's Od. Hard. Like, what do you think it's missing? Crazy. We go crazy. No funny shit. We got some of the best rappers, probably better than other states. If niggas really tap in, listen. From everywhere. What do you think's missing, you. though? Huh? What do you think's missing? Why do you think, like, we haven't had the that? The unity, the love, shit like that. It'd be shit like that. Legit, but what what gets me mad is everybody knows that. Everybody, everybody, like, knows, yeah. everybody knows, like, yo, I'm from Boston. Yeah, we got no love. Our city got no love. This, that, and the third. But nobody wants to do nothing to change it. This shit needs to be the promo clip. For everybody the wants to point bro. out the everybody oh, wants God. to point out the problem, but don't want to fix it, bro. I swear to God, everybody knows that the city's full of hate. Everybody knows why people shit don't be getting nowhere, be, but don't want to change it. They don't want to be like, all right, let's just stop all this shit and actually do something to get somewhere, instead of like, you know, like yeah, like they know the problem, they just don't want to fix it. Nobody That's the best way to. I can say it. Everybody knows the problem. I know. Everybody be hating on each other. Everybody wants to be the goat. It's like a disease, yo. Like, it's sad to say, but it really is because it's just like, I feel like this is. I don't want to be the goat in my city, bro. It. Like, I want to be one of them. Like, I want to be. I want Boston thing, to be the goat. Shit, but, uh, yeah, like, I want yeah, Boston to be Not even on Boston, top. Mass. Yeah, I want niggas to be like, yo, like, Boston's lit when they come out here and shit like that. Like, Once niggas say that, everybody's going to be lit. You get what I'm trying to say? Because you a Boston nigga. Man. Like everybody's gonna be lit, however you want to look at it, bro. Every the spotlight's gonna be on Boston, just like when we started banging Chicago niggas and doing all the extra shit when that whole drill wave came. Whoever started it started it. Yeah, they put the spotlight on the city, but everybody wanted to know who else from Chicago, who else is from it Chicago. Just comes That's how you it. started finding out about Little Mouse, Little J's, fucking. King Vaughn's and all these places. random yeah, ass different, people, yeah, yeah, niggas from different because niggas started tapping in, like, oh, we want to find different people from here. And everyone gonna, was working together. It's the same. The it's people. the same shit everywhere. Once people find out about so anybody from Boston, bro, it could be anybody, which they have. People been opening their eyes. We got G Fredos out here. We got G Nipsies. We got BJs. We got Cows. we got we got yeah, we got. People like that. So people's been opening their eyes. We got Paco's from Brockton. We got Dita Flies. Even though they from Brockton, they they Massachusetts. Man, you feel too, me? You got mad they Massachusetts. People, yeah. The same way people be like, oh, Millie's uh, he's not a Boston rapper. This down at that. He's from Mass. Cambridge. He's mad. That's what I like. Once about niggas open their eyes and really get to know that there's niggas in Massachusetts, no matter even if they from Cambridge or Brockton or wherever, niggas are going to want to search up other niggas in Everybody, it's, it's the It's algorithm. a pulley system, it's bro. Le, it's legit the it's algorithm. Like, 
That's it's the it Massachusetts works. music, so we're gonna be on that feed regardless. Yeah. You're gonna you're gonna get seen by other niggas. Literally. You know what I'm trying to say? You just gotta put the city on. And put each other on, like the pulley system shit I'm talking about. It's literally like, okay, say you pop off and then your homie, you can bring him up. When or you search niggas' videos, you see you, other niggas' exactly. videos right under. It says related. Like when I was watching your videos related earlier, video. it was just Nipsey and Fredo videos it's, popping up underneath yeah, it. It's, it's all Boston shit. It's all Boston shit, bro. Exactly. As long as we get Massachusetts popping, all that shit, we don't got to worry about that. Everybody's going to be the goat of the city. Exactly. We're going to have niggas from fucking Beijing and fucking Egypt listening to us. Like, exactly. yo, trying to be... You know how niggas in Africa and all that, they trying to be old block and all this? They're going to have shit like that over here if niggas really... Put on, bro. You get what I'm trying to say, bro? It's just realizing. Niggas from fucking Nigeria, Africa, different places. Talking about they from uh, Old Block, bro. <laughs> and different places like that, bro. Uh, we know why they're doing it because they made an impact. They're not saying it. We haven't made that impact yet. Yeah, we got to make that impact. We got to do it together. You know what I'm to say, bro? It's not no like solo mission. It's everyone in this shit together. It's legit. Like, it's like a war, bro. Because no Old together. Block wasn't the only ones rapping. That's why Chicago didn't blow up only because of Old Block. It was because of Chief Keef and all that. But everybody else was rapping too. Yeah. Like even the ops and shit. Every, like, yeah, you feel me? People wanted to know who Chief Keef's ops were. Exactly. You're lying so if, you say, if you never said, yo, who's Chief Keef's ops? Let me search that up. Exactly. How you think you found out about all them other niggas? Exactly. How you think you found out about FBG Duck and all them exactly. niggas? Exactly. And everybody. Like, you get what I'm trying to say? It's like, it's all there. Once right. they made Chicago lit and uh, different cities like that, everything lit, just got passed down and falls it came everyone's place. way yeah, somehow. It's another. like that's why I don't do none of that bickering. Who's the goat? I'm the goat. This down the third. Like I don't even like being put in those categories. Like you seem nigga, like <laughs> some niggas be like, "Yo, we the goat," or "I'm the goat," and I'm like, "Yeah, you are." I did as be giving it to them. Like, "Yo, you are. You be doing your thing." Like I fuck with you. I, I see you mm-hmm. as a goat. You, who says you not the goat? And I say that to everybody. Cause it's like nigga, we are the go. We from Boston. We be we Man. all rapping. We all doing our thing. If you listen to every nigga from Boston's music, like the ones that's actually making everyone's it, doing, they spitting some right shit, right. bro. Yeah. They really talking their shit. So it's like can't hate on it, especially if you're a music lover, like I say I am. Can't hate on music, bro. Can't hate on the nigga's yeah. craft, bro. He's doing his thing. It might not be what you like, but that it doesn't mean it's trash. Yeah. But Everybody want to be the goat. I feel like one thing about you is like you're extremely withdrawn from the scene, but you're also dead smack in the middle. Dead of smack it. in the like scene. Like it, it almost makes like no sense because I feel like you're one of the names. Like if you talk about people who have been doing stuff in Boston for a while, you could be there without being there. But like, you, I don't gotta be. You be doing that because your name like comes up in people's in faces, almost I mean, every conversation. But you're, you're not almost seeing low me key. at parties. You're not seeing me doing none of that. I barely even. I don't. You're the type of person. Face. You only want to be seen when you want to be seen, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, and then I'll be trying to, now how I'm trying to make it, especially now that I'm taking music serious. You're only going to see me on TV, bro. You're only going to see me on music videos, shit like that. You're not going to see me chilling, parlaying. I don't, I don't, like I said, I don't party. I don't do shit like that. It's rare for you to see that. And when you do see me, I'm there because for like a reason. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, it's so it's like... You seem like a real. Yeah, I'm like, like you said, I'm there, but I'm not there. I don't yeah. know how to explain it. It's like, that's how I like it, though. You f- seem like very work oriented. Like you're here when you need to be, and then when not, you're BJ. Like outside of the music. Yeah, myself. You know, I like stuff. to be yeah. myself all the time. I be chilling around people who's not, like, different people. I might chill with a nigga who's not involved with nothing that I got going on, just because. And that's why I'm chilling with him, be- just because of that. Because yeah. you got something totally different than what I got going on. It's two different worlds colliding. You get what I'm trying yeah. to say? So it's like, you got to do, do you gotta do different shit, bro. They be niggas out here acting like they full-blown street niggas all the time. They not street niggas, bro. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> playing on the persona, acting like yeah. they like that, and all this extra shit. Bro, it's funny. Forcing themselves to live a street life 24-7 when they don't got to. They like to do other shit. It's funny, bro, because most of the real street dudes, they're like the funniest people when you meet them, yo. Yeah, like, niggas be chilling, bro. Yeah. Like, like if, no if, if you know the streets, you don't want to be doing that yeah. shit. If you really know the streets and what, what come with the shit and who's out here, what, what niggas is out here doing, you're not trying to do that shit 24-7, bro. I'm not hearing none of that shit, bro. Real, real street niggas and all that other shit. They trying to do shit that's not involved in none of that shit. Like real life they shit. They didn't bro, be doing that shit human. their whole life. I'm trying to fucking 
Jump out of a plane is some fun shit. You get what or I'm saying? Or watch a fucking like, movie, how we were talking about. Yeah, there's some like, niggas who, you know, don't even got time to chill with their family, all the sexual shit. You get what I'm trying to say? There be niggas out here trying to chill with their family, bro. Uh, Do shit like that, other than trying to be tough, you know, act tough around niggas who don't give a fuck about, about you or nothing that you got going on. Niggas ain't tough, bro. Niggas ain't your friends and none of that. People be weird. People yeah, be bro. weird as fuck. It's good yeah. to do other shit. I don't give a fuck what nobody tells yeah. you. I don't give a fuck what type of life you live, all this extra shit. It's good to do different shit. Nothing's more gangster than being you, bro. Yeah. No bullshit. Like, no bullshit. If you were to tell me right now you fucking read books, that would be the most fucking. I read. Hard. That's exactly. The funny part. That's the hardest thing about you. Funny thing is, because I, I read, I could tell you read yeah, you without can. even like. Just I don't. That's not shit that I be throwing out there. Like half the shit that I be doing, I don't throw out there because I don't do it for everybody to know. I do it because I do it. Do it for you. You know what I'm saying? Like all the shit that I was saying earlier, shit like that. There's a lot of niggas who don't know none of that shit about me. I'm just seeing it because I'm here for me, giving guys content and shit. But at the end of the day, it's like I do it because I like to do it. I don't do Uh. it to. For Instagram, I don't do it for all of that extra Press shit. anybody. Yeah, I do it because I genuinely like to do it. That's why it's like you won't know until you know, until you actually know me type shit. Yeah. Other than that, you would never know. I don't really be posting my life. I don't be doing all that extra shit. You it's weird because I'm an artist. Yeah. I'm supposed to be doing all of that shit. I don't like to do none of that shit. I'm supposed to be out at the club doing all that extra shit, promoting shit, doing all that. I don't like none of that shit. Don't How does your music get out there then? Don't invite <laughs> me to the club. About. The, the streets. I was gonna say it's like I feel like it's literally, you know, literally streets, it's just people literally, word of mouth, bro. It's literally people, bro. I was gonna say that's crazy. Some of his people that I know from the streets and other and places then it just gets passed down, and then it gets passed on because people, the fan base people too, like the people who actually fuck with my music. That's probably not even from where I'm from. I six like, shit. I know people from different states and shit too. So it's like that helps out too. What moment was it where you were just like, okay, like. A lot of fucking people are listening to my music. Like, was it just like instantaneously? Because I feel like you've been it's, doing numbers yeah, for a like, while. Yeah, like it just happens. No like right There's times it. I don't even think people are gonna bump it as much as they do, and then it ends up being and you do like, like 50k. Yeah, it's like I don't know. Bro. Like, there's a lot of thi- like a lot of shit that people be thinking. Like, I be like, I don't be knowing. None. I just do it because I like to do it. Bro. Yeah. I'm mad. Like, I do it because I like to do it, bro. Legit. I just started taking music serious, and I've been rapping for like, like you said, five, six years, bro. It's crazy. So it's like I'm now starting to take this shit serious. I'm now sh- starting to show my face and do all the extra shit more. Cause before it's like I was just doing it, yeah. rapping, having fun, trying different shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm fun. happy you're fucking finally taking this shit serious, though, yo. Cause I'm trying to. Yo. Trying to stay focused Bro for someone Same thing as I was saying To Nipsey bro For someone who Wasn't taking music serious Before you made some Pretty good fucking music Yeah <laughs> You made some pretty good Fucking music yo It's fun in the moment too You know How do you is like performing Oh shit No keep talking nah, about that nah, I was just listening to it Sometimes too In the studio Like after you done recording Like yeah this shit I can't believe I made this shit That's one of the feelings You get too That's oh like, Yo I made this Like this shit's hard Like was it weird hearing your voice for the first time? Yeah, I still think my voice is weird behind the mic Bruh. and behind cameras. I don't like my voice. Man. Like, I don't know. It's weird. Huh. <laughs> do you listen to your own music? Not as much as I should, but yeah. Really? Yeah. What the fuck? Sometimes. Not as much as I should, though. Bro, I feel like yeah. if I made music, I'd be playing that shit all the time. Like, I listen to it. everybody else, though. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> What the hell, yo? I thought you'd be bumping your shit like 24-7. I get tired of my shit. Fast. You got all your homies I, like... I rap it, so it's like I get tired of it. Do all your homies be bugging you for all your unreleased yeah, shit? I don't send no unreleased music no you more. Because people leak my shit all the time. Any chance they get, they leaking it or sending it to some people. I had people set, tell me out their mouth that they made money off of sending my song to people. That's fucked. Yeah. That is some fuck shit, bro. No cap. Like, so it's like that's off limits now. I yeah, don't I don't blame somebody. you. These niggas who be sending shit to females, all types of shit, trying to juice them. Like, I don't do none of that shit. I don't blame I'm you. I'm sorry. God damn. King got nothing. <laughs> Keeping that vault unlocked, yo. Um, 
what I said right before before you started, and you were talking about something else. Um, performing. I know you did a performance back in like November. Am I bugging? I think so. You did. <laughs> you be doing a bunch of performances? No, it's not that. I just be, I be forgetting a lot. Uh, smoke a lot. <laughs> Bullshit. Um, how many times have you performed? Performance, what I did think? do performance. I'm sorry. You're yeah, dead. You're dead. You're yeah, dead. With, my, okay. with, Re- with Rebel Mafia, my Rebel my Mafia. Family, oh. shit, yeah. Okay. Car bills, super big, super messy money salve. The whole, you know, Brandon James, the whole safe rugby. <laughs> How was it performing? That shit was hard. That shit was hard. I had mad fun. I was dancing on stage, doing all types of shit, <laughs> having a blast. How was it like keeping stamina on stage? Hard too. You be getting gas. The end, I was about to pass out in that bitch. <laughs> Super and Kai came and saved the day for me. They started rapping my part for me. Yeah, <laughs> but it was because I was going all out, dancing, I acting a fool on stage. You know what I mean? So you looked like you were wilding the fuck out at yeah. the show. For me. Yeah, yeah, I was having so. fun. I like to turn shit up. That uh, was, it was time to turn up. You know. You got any shows planned this year? Definitely gonna have something okay, Yeah okay. like I said I'm trying to be outside more So you're definitely Gonna see me more I'm gonna have to Pop out to a show Yes sir I'm gonna have to Pop out to a show Make sure you do Make uh-huh. sure y'all pop out For sure We definitely will Um I know earlier though You said you lived in New York For a portion What It wasn't that long But I spent a couple long? times With my cousin How yes. important do you think it? Oh shit Huh What are you saying I was gonna say How important do you think it is Like traveling And seeing other places nah, like, It definitely was important it, it helped me out a lot It gave me some you know, some sauce. I learned a lot, you know. So it helps. It helps. Definitely helps. But I'm 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 very sh- like strong on where I come from. So it's like to be honest, no place gives me inspiration more than from. Here. Like, yeah, like more than where I'm from. Like yeah. Rochester, like, you know, so what are some other places you would want to travel to? California, different places. Uh, I want to travel to like Egypt, see some pyramids. That shit would be crazy. Different places like that, cool shit. I want to go to like China. That shit would be crazy. Yeah. I want to do different shit like that. Go to places like that. That shit would be crazy. I say California because I like I love the type of aesthetic over there, the vibes uh, and shit like that. And the networking. Yeah, networking out there is crazy. I work out there is definitely crazy. You know that's just like Boston now. Everybody goes over there. Yeah, everyone's over there. Yeah, I love that shit. Everyone be staying over there. Um, if you could make a song right now for free with any mainstream artist, who would it be? <laughs> <laughs> Completely free, music video, everything. Damn, I don't even know. Upload it on your I account. I don't even know because I got so many. I don't even know. I can't even tell you that question. I can't you even got no it. idea. Can't give you an answer. Damn. Okay. That's a hard one for me, no cap. Okay, okay. Okay. Um, I'll move on to the next one then. Do you th- feel like COVID slowed down your workflow at all? Or Not really. It, it should have boosted my shit. I was just slacking. It was me. Really? No cap. COVID didn't do nothing. Damn. COVID's, the COVID's definitely not the reason why my like work ethic slowed down and shit like that. I was definitely slacking. Took some time off just to handle some shit, like real life shit, but. Yeah, like I said, I'm focused now. So more focused. What can people expect from you this year? More music. More music. Definitely seeing me more. Shit like that. More. That music. project you talked yeah, about yeah, too. I'm, I'm, I'm about to go. I'm about to go crazy. What um, what else you got? Like anything soon that you could give like direct date, or is it just mystery, mystery man right now? Nothing that you could tease. That's gonna be coming out soon. Cause this I'll th- probably drop like a one or two singles before the tape or okay. video or some shit. I'll give y'all something though. I was gonna say because this podcast probably won't be out till March. So if there's anything that's gonna happen nah, in the next yeah, month, I'll you could probably talk about definitely, it. Definitely, yeah. There's definitely gonna be some shit that happens way before that. So okay. just stay, stay tuned. Okay. Stay put. You feel me? Okay. Okay. Um, we're coming up on like just an hour though, so we're about to wrap this up. But what's like one thing that you'd want to say? To anybody watching this, anybody that listens to your music, what's one thing you'd want them to take away from you in this interview and your music all around? I don't know. To be honest, you might have to ask that question again. No, was it? I fucked up on that one. 
Oh. Just like, what do you want people to take away from you in this interview? From everything that you do? If like, you had someone that's like a student watching you right now. You could do it too. I'm still going. I'm still going hard. I'm still trying to make it out. And you could do it too. I know there's a lot of people out here that get discouraged because their buzz might not be there or they might not have a certain amount of followers and all this extra shit. But trust me, bro. I was in the same predicament. I was in the same place, and I'm still damn near in the same place. You know what I mean? I ain't shit. I'm working hard. and You could do it. Everybody's capable of making good music. Everybody got a story, and every every story should be heard. You know what I mean? So if you feel like you want to make music, I encourage you to make music. And always remember that, like, none of that extra shit that you be seeing other niggas do all the extra shit. None of that shit. Matters Just focus on yourself And like You could get there You could probably get past that So Yeah Go hard Be creative And have fun You can do it That's like I don't know That's a good piece of advice For any artist watching this Yeah man Cause like A lot of people get discouraged Like the, I don't have people tell me Like yo I wanna be like Get Get on your level And shit like that Like yo man I'm still trying to get on a level like, yeah. You know what I'm trying to say Like stay focused bro Like I ain't shit bro I'm still working just like you bro. Yeah. And I don't want people to look at me Like I'm something uh, More than them and all that I'm just like you You could do it bro Like We all working hard bro We all trying to get a name We all trying to be somebody Special you know So Go hard bro That's it I feel like that's all you can do Yeah Honestly there's nothing else you can do but just go as hard as possible. Yeah. Keep you know, they can always throw dirt on your name. I was going to throw shade. I was going to try to knock you down. You just got to go hard. Yes, sir. Wise message. Wise message. This was a good ass interview, though. Thank you for fucking sir, coming Shout out on my cousin here. Robert. I was going to say, if there's anyone you want to shout out, shout him out. Shout out Rob, Rob too. My biggest fan. Shout my out. Moms. My family, the niggas who fuck with me, everybody that fuck with me. Shout out y'all. Keep supporting me. You know, the team. Yeah. I don't know. Niggas. <laughs> Shout out everybody that's doing their thing right now. Rapping. Y'all gotta shout out your IGs too. Brick Flair underscore on IG. BJ Baller ninety eight on Twitter. Um Yeah, shout out Sweet Talk Jew. Um, mad people. Yes, yeah, everybody that's doing. The thing <laughs> yeah, out. Everyone that's doing I'm not really, you know. I, don't really I gotta stop asking people to do shout outs, bro, because then they start overthinking it and yeah, they be forgetting like, people, oh, and they're no. like, I don't want to say one name and forget about the other. Yeah. But, yeah, this was definitely a pleasure. Like I said, man, good to get you guys on here. We're about to do this busy one right after. <laughs> Lizzie's about to go on a date He's on my back right now Trying yeah. to get something from my car Oh shit what the fuck I So we might not even be doing him tonight yeah, He's trying to go to the movies <laughs> It's fucking 1040 at night yeah, What the he's, fuck He's 18 He's a rapper in Do you feel me You think he's, he's 18 yo bro. God damn <laughs> We about to wrap this up <laughs> <laughs> Purple World episode 18 Make sure to follow BJ Baller And follow Dre Even though he's off camera on Instagram Um and or this is episode 19 i fucked up good thing i didn't fuck up the intro but episode 19 make sure to tune in catch you next week on the next one push got a dig this a perks thought they would help stop the pain never thought i'd see that in a hearse fighting my demons got no one to talk to so here's how i'm feeling inside of this verse trying to stop pushing i gotta stop pushing don't sleep my insomnia making it